Hello and welcome back to another painting video. Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick paint of Mr. Luke Cage here. Let me see if we can get it to focus. While also kind of simultaneously testing our camera position. I'm not liking the focus situation right now. Um, we'll kind of see how that goes as we get to it. Let me see here if it'll focus on this. If we can make it focus. Focus! A little better. Okay, so let's get on to Luke Cage. So first we'll start with this skin. And I wasn't sure how to do this part, but we're gonna kinda go with it here. And we're gonna use, I think Dark Oath Flesh is the one that we use here. And then we might have to do some layers and all that kind of stuff on top of it. So let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Got our Dark Oath Flesh contrast paint. Probably have to do a couple of coats of this onto him. Let's get those. It might be easier to paint with a brown on his skin and then do this over the top of it to get the, the highlights and stuff done. So we'll just take it slow right now. Kind of see where. Where it takes us. because it's definitely too light right now, and we don't want that. So, in the meantime, while we'll I wait for that to go, let's get our Yand in Yellow contrast paint for his shirt. And get that going. I feel like we could move this a little closer. I feel like the last couple of videos were a little closer than this, so. I just have like some new kind of arms to hold my camera, so I'm just trying to figure out their position. So we're still testing the waters here of new camera setup. I appreciate you guys sticking with us while trying to figure it out and give you guys a better experience watching watching the painting Okay, here's our yellow. Let's try something really quick. Stand by one second, move you guys a little closer. Just need to take the 
arm here. Put it down. And then I gotta take this one. Okay. Get you guys a little bit closer that way. That's better. Okay. So now let's go to a blue here. He's got like a blue jean on. Oh, let's go Leviathan blue, it's a darker blue. Actually, I don't know. We got Leviathan blue, we got Celestium blue, and we've got Telesar blue. Telesar blue is a more lighter blue. We used it on something recently. I forget what I used it on. I'll use it on my Doombull. That's what it was. It's a little too blue. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's not what we're looking for here. So let me just clean this up, get a wet brush, and then we can pull it down and it'll be thin enough to where we can just kind of dab it off with our finger. So we're gonna go to the Viadon blue. It's a darker blue. It's gonna hopefully work better for us. You see all the silver on top of these from when I painted the sentinels. The sentinels, I had to prime them with a silver and that got everywhere. Just getting all of it covered. We have lots of water on our brush still, which is what's making those little white spots appear when we're painting. So just try to dry our brush off as we go along here. And I do like some of the white showing because it gives that like stretched denim kind of look. Yeah, this is a definitely better blue choice for Mr. Luke Cage here than what we had before in that other blue. <laughs> All right, let's switch to a smaller brush really quick to get those little, the belt loops on the belt. Just get those nice and go to a black gray for the shoes and the belt. So we'll get our black gray from Vallejo. I also bought some new like pale flesh colors and I didn't realize I already had, I had a whole bottle here <laughs> just sitting. So, you know, Buying extra paints that I don't need. So let's get this belt all nice and painted. Mm 
go. And we'll get his shoes. We go back to hitting the camera again. looking pretty thick on there. I don't know if it was just the, I think it got mixed with the contrast and just kind of blobbed. Let's clean that up a little bit. Okay, now let's get his beard and all that the best we can here. It's not terrible, but it's not. Okay, I think we got it. Sorry if I put it out of the frame for a bit. It was just tough working with faces for me some of this yellow here that was in there and just kind of go back over some of this some of these areas over here okay now let's get our gunmetal for the wristbands and the belt buckle and the little beam that he's standing on We're still waiting for the contrast to dry for the skin and everything before we do like a second coat or anything like that. So let's get his little Power Man gauntlets. These are good. I accidentally touched the shoe here really quick. And then let's go to our back to our regular brush, our regularly scheduled brush. And get this guy. Oh. Clean it up.
got that covered. Now let's go back to our Dark Oath Flesh and do another coat over the top of this to see if we can salvage it. Which I might, I'm probably just gonna say no, we can't, to be honest. Maybe. If it stays dark, like a dark brown, that's kind of what we want it to do. So if we can keep it like that, then I'm down. But if it strays into the lighter category, like it's been doing, don't know how I feel about it. Gotta clean that up a little bit. We don't want it to be to take away from all the other colors we did. Hey, cool. Well, I think that does it. I think that's our Power Man, aka Luke Cage, um, and our new camera setup. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Let me get it better for you guys on this.